Today I'm going to create a searchable drop down list. Basically it works like this. Let's say if I type CA, then when I search, it will automatically filter out those names with CA. Let's get started. First of all, replicate this table. Control C and then right click paste as values and I don't need this stuff. Now change the meet ID to criteria. Keep using search ID and I'll change the result list to result. Let's make it a table. Control T. My table has headers. Click OK. Create another Dropbox. Dropbox 2. Control 1. Give it a border. Name this Dropbox as Dropbox 2. Control Shift F3 and then I tick left column. That means I'll use Dropbox 2 as my name for my cell. So this cell is called Dropbox 2. You can check it here. Dropbox 2 and it's this one. Okay, we can start our formula in criteria. Let's type search equals search and then the find text will be I'll look for Dropbox 2. That means this cell comma within the name column. I want to look for name that has the letter string AB inside. Okay, and you see a whole bunch of one and value. Make it easier like this. Wrap this around with this number. And then you will see those names that have a b return true a b and then returns true those that don't have a b return false i want this criteria column only return one and zero how can i do this if and then put a bracket that means if the criteria column is a number then comma value if true becomes one otherwise if it is not a number then we put zero and close the bracket i'll have all those one and zero and you can change different combinations c a maybe for search id i will try to rearrange these names id into like this into one two three four five in the search id column i put equals if criteria equals one oops criteria column equals one then accumulate the criteria column and the first row is i5 this one is i5 so put i5 and then press f4 to lock it colon i5 close it and then if criteria is not one then that means value if force equals zero. You will see this one, two, three, right? For the result column, I've used the index match function. Look for the name, right? Name column, comma, alt enter, and then match. The lookup value I will be using is row k5, k5. Um, so if I use the rows function like this, when I scroll down the rows, I will have K5, K6, K7 like that, and it will return 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The lookup value will be the search ID, because I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. That means in the first row, I match with the search ID equals 1, and then I look for camera, comma, and then exact match. Close the match, or enter, and then close index. So you will see this, and I don't like the error value, so uh, let's get rid of it. I select Ctrl C, select everything, put if error, and then wrap around the whole thing. Go back inside, put a comma. The value before the comma is this one, the index function that we just did before. The value if error is just put double quote so that it gives out a blank cell like this okay and then i will use offset function the reference will be the first cell of the result column so it's click it and then remember to press f4 to lock it and then i skip the rows skip the columns and then i go to height the height i will use the count if function count if 
the result column and the criteria will be like this question mark and then a pound key and then a close quote that means if the result column contains less than one character, then I'll just ignore it. I'll only count those rows that have more than one character, like those names. Close the count if and close the offset. Usually I just scroll down and check. Afterwards, I will copy this formula by pressing Ctrl C and then I'll press Control F3 and create a new name. I just called it filter2 and then Control V and paste the offset formula to filter2. Close it. Finally, go back to the Dropbox 2 and then I put Alt D L. Data validation. Select list inside the source box. I press F3. Select the name filter2. Okay, Alt D L. One more step. Go to error alert. Untick this box. Okay, try if it works. Press C A. And let's say if I want to try A B. And then I press this one. I can choose among those names that have A B. Okay, so hopefully it helps. Thank you. Bye-bye.